Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, look out because there's some CMEs coming directly from the sun that are very powerful. And uh, here's what happened. Yesterday, um, and up on Sunspot AR2371, it unleashed a very strong, one of the strongest solar flares in nearly two months. It was an M3 class explosion caused a brief shortwave radio blackout uh, over North America and it hurled a CME into space. Now, the ESA Solar and Helispheric Observatory recorded a movie of this expanding cloud. You can see it at spaceweather.com. Other information though, this menacing, and it is that, it's a very menacing sunspot of AR2371 has an unstable beta gamma delta magnetic field. Say that with me, beta delta magnetic field that harbors energy for the strong explosions. Now, NOAA forecasters are estimate there's a 70% chance of an M-class solar flare again, and a 15% chance, 15% chance this thing could be an X flare. Uh, and they're expecting that to happen today. All right, so yesterday there was an M3-class solar flare and they think today we may have another M3, M class of some, maybe even an X flare. I mean, this thing's very volatile. And I'm telling you this because we have scripture in the Bible that, that said we would see signs in the sun. So um, the thing about these solar flares, though, and like yesterday's, what it did, it caused a temporary blackout of shortwave radio over North America. Uh, if we got hit with a stronger, a, a very strong direct hit, from a CME and it hit the right place, it could knock the grids out. I've seen that happen two or three years ago from San Diego all the way to Arizona, knocking out the power grids, okay? Uh, we know that there's been, back in 1843, there was a powerful CME that fried all the telegraph wires and lines. And, and that was back in the days when you didn't have a lot of technology, you didn't have a lot of <clears throat> uh, reason, couldn't affect a lot of things, where today, if that type of a CME hits, it, it's un, it could be catastrophic, the results of it. Now, let me just tell you what the Bible said. Now, the Bible tells us in Revelation that there will be some heat waves. There will be some, like the sun will be send some gamma rays or some UV rays and literally scorch men, scorch them, and they'll gnaw their tongues for pain. That is in the book of Revelation. And this year, we've seen a heat wave hit India from the sun that killed over 2,500 people. Unprecedented, but biblically prophesied. Now, here's what Jesus said, though, and I believe this is some of the things that we would see. He says in uh, St. Luke's Gospel 21, verse 25, there shall be signs in the sun. Say It, it says it. There, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. So it's going to affect the tidal waves, tsunami waves, cyclones, typhoons, hurricanes are definitely going to be affected. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So there's something coming. There's a biblical deep impact you can find it in Revelation chapter 8. Uh, certainly start around verse 8. Uh, it definitely talks about a burning lamp like a mountain crashing into the sea. So men are going to realize that there's things coming. NASA is going to uh, recognize and may hide it from the public. And the more of these underground cities and bunkers you hear are being built, know there's an indication that they know something's coming. At some point when people realize it's happening, they may actually fall over with heart attacks out of fear for looking after these things coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So there will be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars, and the heavens themselves will be shaken. Now, uh, it says when this happens, then shall you see the sign of the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your head, 
for your redemption draweth nigh. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Uh, it's time to get saved. Really it is, folks. We're in the last days. And also, keep an eye open today. There may be another powerful CME, another X-Flare coming your way. Are you saved?